choosing an outsourcing partner, you really need to think about what your long-term goals are. Are you really just needing to fulfill one study or are you looking for a long-term partnership that's gonna take you into commercialization? But more importantly, I think you need to realize the fit, the fit between your team and the team that you're gonna be working with. And I'm not talking about the business development team or the team that's selling you the work, but those people you'll be interacting with on a day-to-day -day basis and the people that will be interacting with your sites and being your representative. There are several important things that a sponsor needs to consider when they're choosing their partner. But first, I think we need to be clear that there are a lot of different types of CROs out there with lots of different expertise. So what's critically important is that you figure out what your program needs. As an example, one of the considerations needs to be, what is your approach? Is this a, a phase one, first in man? Um, are you needing a, 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 a healthy volunteer unit? Or are you talking about a global phase three where you need multiple countries? That's gonna narrow down your search, right? The second thing that you need to think about is what's the actual strategy for your compound or your device? Do you plan on selling this after, let's say, proof of concept? Or are you looking for a long-term strategic partner that's gonna take you all the way through to commercialization? Again, narrow down your search. The next thing is, take a look at your internal resources, right? What kind of talent do you have internally? What kind of technology do you have internally? And how are you going to fill those gaps with a CRO? As an example, you might have a certain amount of talent and just need some very specific functional CROs instead of a full service CRO. Again, narrowing down your search. There's always going to be as well those political issues. Right? Those are my absolute favorites, where you have an investor, or you have a board member, or your CEO has a very favorite CRO that they worked with in a past life. You want to take that into consideration when you're looking at CROs. And then finally, it's the funding as well. Right? You need to have an understanding of what you actually can afford and have a realistic expectation of what that is. It could very well be that as a small biotech, you might not have the funds that you need to actually go out and get a full service CRO. But there are CROs out there that can come up with creative solutions, staff augmentation combined with functional service. You might wanna hone in on those. So bottom line, there's a lot of considerations, but the number one thing you gotta think about is be clear about what you need, what your requirements are, what your expectations are. And that alone, beyond therapeutic expertise, is going to help you narrow down your search and get to your top CROs.